Okay, the car's been idling for about five minutes now. Does two. Close the windows. Okay. Let's put it in reverse first. So sure reverse works. Okay. Pressure gauge and temperature gauge are functioning. Bear with me, driving stick shift with the camera in my hand is a little a bit of a task, but it's manageable. It's a very fun little zippy car to drive. Handles amazing. Love the look. I love the wheels. I think they did a fantastic job on the wheel design. Oops, I just the camera. Shifts very smoothly through all the gears, no grinding. Nothing unusual, oh, out of the ordinary. Out of the ordinary. No slipping of the clutch. Everything functions. Cruise control works. Headlights, taillights, brake lights, signals. I guess I haven't tried the AC chart. I'm not sure the cigarette lighter. I'm sure that functions as well. So we have that behind the RPM. It's a drop RPM. The oil pressure gauge goes up and down, fluctuates with that. Second gear. Tech motors are similar to VTEC from my experience. You know, it, just like VTEC, after 5500 RPM is when they get their strongest power band. Fourth gear right now, going 70. Put it in fifth gear now. And then I'll just put it in sixth gear as well. Now we're cruising. Turn the cruise control on here. I'll set it. The lights on right there for cruise control. Seventy-five. works. Shut that off. Even as a 
this rear button stereo controls there as well. Temperature's fine. Low pressure strong. About about 80 miles an hour right now. The brake, no vibration in the steering wheel. I'll give it a downshift from fifth gear to fourth gear. Do a little pull, no pops. Fourth gear. Doesn't grind the gears, doesn't slip, just like gear downshift. Okay. Solid, rev it up. Oh, the pressure goes back up as it should. No vibration in the steering wheel. 